What is up bras now we are going to be crushing it in this video with insane new tricks and I just wanted to let you know that I am officially streaming on Twitch now and I have a challenge for you where if you watch any of these tricks from this video and it makes you go holy shit then you have to come and follow me over on Twitch okay okay deal. Now I'm also pretty hyped because I'm finally going to go watch Endgame today so my chat can finally stop f***ing spoiling it for me and oh yeah I'm also an affiliate now so it's going to be a party over there every single stream. Now enough of me talking, let's change the game with this first trick. Now I'm sorry Ubisoft, please still invite me to the seasonal preview events. Now we got another way to get on the coastline purple tarps and this one... This one's even easier and you can do it literally three steps from your spawn and pre-fire the hookah window within literal seconds of the round starting. Huge props to the discord bra Carlo for teaching me this. All you're going to need to do if you didn't catch it is run on over and vault onto the rock in front of the rock wall by the pool. Then you're just going to sprint at the rock wall. You're then going to slowly get elevated and you're going to look left and right as you bob up and down and you will get the vault option to get right on top of the wall where you can just run onto the purple tarps directly in front of Huko without even going onto the rooftop. This of course also works with any armor level, any speed level, literally any character can do this within seconds of the round starting so enjoy it while it lasts. Trick 2 is going to be mainly for secure area because it's the easiest unless you find another item to elevate yourself up with, which spoiler warning, there are, but let's say you're just doing secure in tea room for this one. All you got to do is open up a crawl size hole in the wardrobe and go prone on the wheel of the biohazard container and then crawl straight in. Now this one was posted on reddit by user good spirits too and they did it before me so props to you brother one thing that makes this so cool is that this wardrobe is huge so even if half of it gets destroyed you're still going to be hidden inside of it and if you're playing secure area then you're going to be hidden in the objective so you're going to confuse the crap out of the enemy and you'll probably get called a cheater because they'll probably think that you're like glitched inside of a wall or something but no you're not you're literally just in the closet Trick number three goes out with a huge shout out to Priest for finding this. If you haven't checked out his channel, it's freaking amazing and I can guarantee you that you will be entertained for hours. So I got a link down to Priest's channel right down below there for easy access. Now Priest figured out that you can go prone on this green fence thing on the rooftop on border and then crawl over to the skylight to get on the lip that you can't normally run up on. You'll be elevated enough to get the perfect angle to counter Mira being played in Fountain as well as shoot all the way into the back corner of Fountain and even reach shots as far as the hallway above the staircase. Also, when you're the one using this angle, anyone that you're shooting at inside a fountain won't be able to see you unless they are very far east in fountain. When they're pushed back up towards the wall, it creates one of those very rare one-way angles where because of the height that you are at as an attacker and looking down at them, you're gonna be able to see the bottom half of their body and from the perspective of the person below, all the objects above them is gonna be blocking their view from you so they won't even be able to see you and you're gonna be landing shots on them so even if you don't get the kill on them at least putting some damage on these guys is gonna surprise the crap out of them Next up is a very clever way to electrify the reinforced armory walls that get breached from West Balcony almost every time you defend the site. Now the normal counter to get rid of mute jammers, bandit batteries, and kaid electric claws are to either sneak your twitch drone in there or to go from below from the main door and destroy the floor and shoot up to get them. Well if they do any of the normal counters they're going to be in for a surprise because a lot of people don't realize that the walls inside the storage are also below West Balcony but just on the other side. And with Kaid Electricaws, it has enough range to electrify both of these walls, making it extremely difficult for attackers to get open. All right, now trick number five was something that I straight up thought was a glitch because you'll see me place a bulletproof camera inside of this support beam after vaulting up onto the barrel inside a bunker entrance on Oregon. 
Now I even went and submitted this on R6 Fix and they came back and told me that this is working as designed. So F it, I'm gonna share it with the bra fam of course. You can see that even after placing it inside of the beam, it doesn't even block any of the view of the bulletproof camera and you can get views all the way back even after attackers break the bunker entrance wall to get towards the site. Moving upstairs, we're gonna be jumping onto Valkyrie where you can get this camera in this cheeky spot a couple of different ways. Now at the start of the round, you can jump out of small tower and throw it inside of this thing that looks like a huge string holder. But if you're worried about getting decapitated, then you can follow me on screen and throw it at this exact spot that you see me do here to get the perfect camera to watch the big window on dorms. I didn't even know that this object was hollow until the bra from Discord, Vinterix, showed me. So huge props to you, dude. Next up, we're going to Chalet where you can get this crazy parkour angle into Trophy for anyone contesting the East Trophy Room window. You'll also completely cut off the rotations in Trophy by placing a teammate up here. What you're going to need to do is run to the rock that is sticking out and then crouch. From here, you can just walk towards the rock to elevate yourself up until you get the vault option onto the rock ledges above you. Now, once you're up here, you're not done yet. You can then run to the left around the tree to get even higher to look straight onto the wall in trophy that everyone can test the East Trophy Room window from. You're gonna catch a ton of people off guard here. This is definitely not expected. And as well as when you're up here, you blend in so well. This next trick is one of the most intricate spawn kill locations I've covered in a long time and this one was posted on Reddit by user Thakil where he's using the new mirror trick to vault up on top of the mirror located downstairs in the archives corridor. We're then going to be vaulting on top of the shield and backing up towards the wall and looking through this drone hole that literally just happens to line up perfectly with the main gate right under the default camera outside. Now if it's hard for you to see with a sight that comes with Mira, then you can just have a friend help you out with this and jump up here with an ACOG for a spawn peek that will definitely get you accused of using hacks. This next trick is a three floor Capital Bolt and it's going out with 100% credit to the legend Zyronic. Now I gave it a try on stream after my friend showed me a clip of Zyronic doing this and you'll see here that it's absolutely insane. All you're gonna need to do is come to the music room on Fortress and even though they recently changed the way the bolts fly after long distances, they still fit through bullet holes. So we're gonna go prone, look high up to where you see my crosshairs and we're gonna put a few bullets on the spot. Now this creates bullet sized holes that goes all the way up to the top floor right underneath the desk where a ton of cav players go to hide but also anchors such as echo or maestro players and they like to lie down and use their utility under this desk or just around this area for cover. Now even if they're not under the desk anyone using it for cover or in the general area will get set on fire and die. Anyways bra fam that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you would like to submit any tricks for a chance to be featured in a future video head on over to the series siege tips channel on my discord server i hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a ton of holy shit moments i'll see you all very soon in the next video and on stream i love you all peace